hi viewers welcome to my channel at easy surveys where we'll make all survey practices to be easier in this video i'll be showing you on the step-by-step -step approach of configuring your gnss receiver to a call station to take your rtk observations so calls simply stand for continuously operating reference station so it is basically used in the case whereby you do not have a control or a base receiver on site so you can use your rover receiver only to connect to it to still take your observations all right the call station sends um, the correction to the rover receiver to obtain its own accurate position so all tassels controller have the NOAA app installed in them and this is how the interface is all right so the first thing to do is to create a project by going to project and you go to new and you edit the project name to any name of your choice then the operator you can decide to use your name then here in the coordinate system um, i have created some previous ones so uh, i am in africa nigeria and so um, from our basic understanding of map projection and geodesy you should make sure you have an idea of the reference system the locality or the region where you want to work to the reference system they are using so i am in nigeria and i'll be using the mina utm so the utm nigeria falls under the zone 31 32 and 33 the 31 is the western region of nigeria the 32 is the eastern part while the zone 33 is the northern part to some major aspects all right so in the course of this video i'll be configuring this system to the mina utm all right so if you are in other places outside nigeria okay other than other places make sure you have an idea of the coordinate system they are using okay so i am going to be using the mina utm zone 32. you are done you are going to click on it to select and you click on select okay and you click on okay so it's going to appear under your coordinate system and the geoda um, file here should appear here too so this is how to create a project and how to create a coordinate system for your job so when you are done you click on okay and you click on yes and that is it successfully so in the next series i am going to show you on how to connect to the receiver as well as configure the course login details of any region that you want to connect to don't forget to subscribe on this channel as well as share this video to as many as possible to encourage and support us thank you see you next time